Welcome back to the show, everyone. In the last episode, Kenta finally did something useful, saved Hikari, and kind of shocked the heck out of both girls because they don't quite know why Kenta can use heavenly weapons. Very interesting and intriguing. Also, Dr. Bad Touch stopped by, Ugh. but apparently the Akamura didn't like him. Ugh. I'm pretty sure Dr. Bad Touch has been murdered and relegated to the garbage I'm, disposal. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pee all over your toast. L luckily, <laughs> luckily, the chaotic night finally came to an end. I get to live for yet one more day. After tonight, I'm more grateful than ever for the existence of my guardian angels, however bizarre they might be at times. We part ways once we reach my house. Though I know they'll just be a shout away if I need them, since they'll no doubt be camped in my garden again. I really don't understand how they don't get caught. I shut the door behind me and I'm greeted with the familiar aroma of home cooking. Safe at last, I think. At least the monsters haven't attacked me here any haven't attacked me here anyway. They seem to only want to get me when I'm isolated from mostly everyone else. Let's hope things stay that way. No one else has to, has to be dragged into this mess. Heck, I still don't even know why I'm in this situation to begin with. I join my parents at the table, the plates only just being set up. I get the same questioning looks as before, maybe more so today because of how taxing that encounter had been on my body. I'm lucky enough to have not suffered any real damage, or at least anything noticeable at first glance, so they don't chase up any- chase up any further on the matter? Is that a phrase? I don't think that's a phrase. Maybe? The usual conversations unfold, and once more it becomes my turn to talk about my day. I can only let out an awkward laugh and say it was the same as any other day. I wonder how they'll react if I told them about two- about- if I told them there are two complete strangers potentially camping in our backyard. The peaceful, relaxing dinner comes to an end. Much like last night, I make myself scarce and drag myself up to my room, wanting nothing more than to collapse onto my bed for several good days. Thankfully, it's the weekend tomorrow at least, so there's no worry about having to get up too early. But I get, a f I get the feeling that with those two girls around, I'm not going to be able to get much of a lie in. What? A lie in? Sleep in? Weird. <clears throat> Speaking of the girls... Do I even want to check? I have a, I heave a reluctant sigh and peek through the curtains. Yep. Tent. Campfire. An overcooked meal catching a light as the pair scramble to put it out. That's about what I expected. I shut the curtains and ignore the fact the entire garden is in danger from catching fire. I'm, too, I'm far too exhausted to worry about that. But what if your house catches on fire? I'm sure it'll be fine. Most likely. Eh. You know what drives me nuts about Kenta's room? What is that? The shelving unit above his bed is off. How is it off? To make room for the speakers. Oh, like he pushed the top red cube over to the right? Yes. That's bothering you? Infuriating. <laughs> Aw. Well, where else is he going to put his sound system? I don't know. Maybe on top of his dresser? There's space up there. But then he couldn't reach it. That's what the chair is for. <laughs> he should get a step ladder just to please but you to center the shelf. Exactly. Unit. And also, <laughs> if he hears a song he doesn't like and he's laying in bed and he like rushes to get up to change it, he's going to smack his face on the bottom one. Yeah, this he probably very, deserves this it. This is a very poorly designed bedroom. Maybe. It's very pretty though. Cleaner than our shit. Crawling into bed, the distressed cries of two supposed professionals are the last thing I hear before I drift off into the world of dreams. I awake with a groan, warm rays of the sun pulling me out of my slumber whether I like it or not. Alongside the expected headache, every muscle in my body screams out in protest as I try to push myself up. I don't get it. I didn't even exert myself that much the other day, so why do I feel so weak? It takes a good moment or so of struggling before my body finally complies and I tumble out of bed. I'm left staring at the ceiling in a daze for a second before I boot to life once more. What is wrong with me? A lot of things. Rising on shaky legs, I totter back and forth before I almost crash into the wall in an effort to support myself. 
Okay. Deep breaths. It appears I may have forgotten how to walk properly. It's me every morning. No big deal. Exactly. Let's see if I can remember before I even think of attempting the stairs. It's just one foot in front of the other. Left foot, right foot. Slowly but surely, I become steadier with each step that I take. Phew. Maybe I'm just more tired than I realize. Having remembered the basics of human mobility once more, I head for the bathroom. <laughs> That's how I wake up. As I approach the door, I can't help but feel a sense of deja vu about the whole thing. Knock first! Why is that, I wonder? I get the feeling there's something important I'm forgetting. Knock first! Something potentially life-threatening. bathroom door! But... I can't recall it at all in such a groggy You're gonna state. Die. I'm sure I'll remember after a shower. You're gonna fucking die. Hopefully it's like at this time. That is wow. Okay. Uh but Yeah. Sorry guys for the Pyro Falcon pasty there, but that but, would probably get me banned from YouTube or at least age gated. But So we're just going to cover that up. <clears throat> but Shower. Taste. Shower. Shower? As I open the door, I'm greeted by a wisp of steam and the sound of running water. It looks like I won't be able to use the shower right now, since it's being used? At least I think it is. I'm having a bit of trouble coming to terms with the sight before me. Ha! Kenta? What are you doing? I blink a few times. Yep. Still there. Sayaka is really there. Using my shower. Huh. I gawk for a while longer, my hand fumbling limply at the door handle. <laughs> it's not where my hand would be fumbling limply at that moment. <laughs> All I have to do is close the door again and stop this being any more awkward than it's clearly become for us. Setting aside the fact that they broke into my house yet again, how is this my fault? I thought they would have learned how basic locks work after the mishap from yesterday morning. If anything, I'm the victim here. It's not fair. H hello Is anyone there? Y you can close the door now. Sayaka breaks me out of my thoughts as she attempts to cover herself with the, uh, the best she can, her face flushed it's with embarrassment. It's nothing we haven't already seen. <laughs> She's a lot more subdued compared to her usual outgoing self. I guess that's to be expected in, in an awkward situation like this. A situation that I'm only making more awkward the longer I stand here wide-eyed at the door. If you don't mind... Uh, right. My bad. At least Sayaka is more reasonable about this whole thing. I have a feeling if I had walked in on Hikari like this again, the house might not be standing. I avert my gaze, somehow, and pull the door to a close. Locks, people. Locks. They exist Nox, for Kenta. a reason. Knox. Yeesh. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to get that image of her out of my head now. Her wet hair, the water... <clears throat> her wet hair, the water cascading down her body. The... Ah! I shake my head. Bad, Kenta. You're better than this. No, you're not. No, you're not. Also, Sayaka really didn't seem to mind all that much. And she's been flirting with us from the beginning. Yes. I have a feeling she did not entirely care. She cared. Just not entirely. Locks and knocks, folks. Locks and knocks. After all the commotion from what I'm hoping won't be a regular thing... T shut up, Kenta. Yes, you do. I find myself downstairs with both of the girls. Really, guys, is this necessary? There's no school today, remember? But that's exactly why we're here. Sayaka beams with a smile almost as bright as the sun itself. What? Kenta, you don't have many friends, do you? Ouch. Where on earth did that come from? She isn't joking around either as she, say as she says it with such a sincere look. D don't be stupid. Don't YouTube subscribers count? I have like 2,100 friends. I have plenty of them. Oh, name one. Uh, Kalo Shade, <clears throat> Hikari too. I'm beginning to feel ganged up on here. Friends. That's easy. There's, um, uh, well, uh, let's see. About, uh, no. 
I guess I just say good morning to them and that's it. Um, but surely, I guess I can't really count them either since I've only worked a couple of, pro of times on projects with them. Um, uh oh, this is bad. I can't actually come up with anybody. The look on my face says it all as Hikari has a smug look about her. I better change the subject and fast. That doesn't matter. Why are you guys bringing this up anyway? It's just, we've noticed at school that you never really seem to talk to anyone. Well, that's, uh, because I've been busy dealing with you guys. Okay, grasping his straws here, but it's the best I can come up with. Somehow I get the feeling they're not very convinced. Heck, I'm not convinced, even by my own words. And over the past few weeks we've been watching over you, you've only seemed to ever leave the house for school before you come right back. I... Uh... Don't you get lonely, Kenta? It's not good for someone to completely shut themselves away like that. And to add to that, your parents always seem to be away working. So it's just you all on your own. Hey, you shouldn't be worried about that part or you wouldn't be able to use my house as freely as you do. But, uh, I guess she has a point. One I've realized myself, even if I don't want to fully admit it. Which is why we're going to do something fun today. All three of us. She claps her hands together and oh, snaps me out of my depressing God, thoughts. you are going to get dragged on a fucking hell ride. Probably. Believe it or not, Hikari and I don't really get a lot of free time, so we've never really been able to enjoy a weekend like this. H hey, we're still on duty, you know. Don't forget that. But if Kento decided he wanted to go out on such a sunny day, well, we would have no choice but to go along with him. Okay, okay. I guess I really don't have a say in the matter, do I? They both smile innocently. I'm sure I'm being oh, manipulated here. Aw, look at Hikari's smile. They're both very adorable. Look at Hikari's smile. So, what did you have what planned a for today? Pretty lady. She is. Ah, that's a secret. But first, there's the matter of breakfast. Right. Breakfast. I have a terrifying flashback to yesterday and their supposed breakfast they had made for me. Not to mention the state they left my kitchen in afterwards. It looked like a bomb had went off in here. I think Hikari and I should handle breakfast again today. We've totally got it under <laughs> control this time. W we have? Yep. Hikari's face grows pale. She shoots me a look that says she wants me to put my foot down and end this madness before it can spiral any further out of control. So how about it, Kenta? After careful deliberation, I say... Whoa! That is a lot of options. No, nope, uh-uh, how about no? Ha, 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 no, let's not. Mm, no, I'll think about it. Okay, I'm done thinking. No, or sure, okay. Alright, so go ahead and let it go to fate. If it's tails, we'll pick okay. If it's heads, we'll pick one of the no's. Okay. Oh my god. It's tails. It's tails. Sure. Okay. Well, sure. I can't see any reason why not. Is the complete opposite of what I'm about to say. Aw, oh, cop out. <laughs> I'd be insane to consider otherwise. Uh, it's okay. I'll handle the cooking. Aw. She looks absolutely crushed. But I had to do it. For both Hikari's and my own safety. Uh, I mean, you girls must be exhausted after last night. I'd like to cook for you, as my way of saying thanks. Really? Really? Well, okay. Your loss. Breakfast really would have been better today, too. Somehow I doubt that. I don't know. I don't think you could do any worse than yesterday. <laughs> Let's not tempt it. Let's not tempt it. I think destruction just comes naturally to both this girl and her partner in crime. You guys just sit there, and don't touch anything flammable while I go fix us up something, okay? But Kenta, your whole kitchen's flammable. We learned that yesterday. <laughs> and I have discovered that everything is flammable if you put enough effort into it. <laughs> Yay, self-reference that no one gets! They both comply and take a seat at the table, but we will cook breakfast in 24 hours uh, for you. Thanks for watching, everyone. We will see you tomorrow for another episode. Boobs. There you go. <laughs> really? You were waiting for him?
Oh, look at that smile. I'm always waiting for look boobs. Look at that smile. Oh, my God. I want it on my phone. 